Bora Bora on a ferry coming from Vancouver Island. I've actually never been to Vancouver Island before, so this was my first time. And we just did a bunch of exploring, drove around the island, took some really cool photos. And uh, now we're going back to Vancouver. Check out some of these views over here. It's two hours long, so I actually thought I would kill some time and do a question out here. The question that I want to go through is, let's say that we are asked to factor 6x squared minus 9x minus 15. So what is the first step? What do we always check? And we check, can we take out a greatest common factor? So with 6, the 9, and the 15, notice that a greatest common factor is 3. And we could take out that 3, and then what would we be left with in the brackets? Well, we just have to take all of the terms and divide it by that 3, by what we took out. So if we take the 6x squared divided by 3, we'd end up with 2x squared. Then the negative has to come down, we keep all the signs. The 9x divided by 3 would give us 3x, the negative comes down again. And then the 15 divided by 3 would give us 5. We have this quadratic in the bracket, and then we could see, can we factor that quadratic further? So what we can do is we could see, can it factor with decompositions? The A value would be 2, the B value would be negative 3, and then the C value would be negative 5. And then what we do next step is we take the A and the C value, we multiply them, which would give us negative 10. And then from there, we got to find two numbers that multiply to that AC value of negative 10 in this case, and then add up to the B value of negative three. And the two numbers that would work out would be positive two and negative five, right? Two times negative five is negative 10, and then two plus negative five is like two minus five, which would give us negative three. So then what we do is we got to decompose that B value in the quadratic into those two values that we found. That's actually where the name decomposition comes from for that factoring process. And so our next line would be 2x squared plus 2x minus 5x minus 5. And so from here, we just factor by grouping. So from the first two, from the 2x squared plus 2x, notice that we could take out a 2x from both of those, and we'd be left in brackets with an x plus 1. And from the minus 5 at 5, we could take out a minus 5 from that. And we'd be left with the same bracket, x plus 1. And now we could take out that same bracket, that binomial common factor of x plus 1 from both terms, and then we'd be left with 2x minus 5. But remember, for the actual overall question, we still have that 3 in front. So we end up with 3 bracket x plus 1 bracket 2x minus 5. And then if you wanted to check your answer, what you can do is you can take your factored form, expand it, because remember, expanding is the opposite of factoring. See if you end up with that original expression to make sure that your answer is correct.